I'm Nicholas Barro, and I'm from Christian Life, and I'm presenting phenomenal questions. <laughs> Who loves coffee? I don't know what you think, but it tastes <laughs> absolutely amazing. Now, personally, I don't like coffee. I like cream sugar with a hint of coffee. <laughs> now, there are two main types of coffee, hot coffee and iced coffee. What sucks is when you have room temperature coffee. I was drinking coffee one day, and it was really hot, so I set it down, and after a few hours, I came back. I took a sip and spit it out. I was waiting for someone to yell, cut, take two. <laughs> the warm coffee really sucks. It's the same way with Christians. We call them nominal Christians. In Revelation 3, 16 to 17, the angel of the church in Laodicea said, So, because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich. I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. This is a very important Bible verse. We have to be either hot or cold. We can't be lukewarm or a normal Christian. We can't go to school or work and live life without God. Then go home and drink or do drugs or sleep with random people. Now what about the second verse? Revelation 3.17. It tells us they may be rich and have clothing and be happy and healthy. That's in the world's eyes, not the spiritual. It tells us we may have money and live good now, but spiritually, your life kind of sucks and you have no treasure. <coughs> we are called not to be a nominal Christian, but an active Christian. Now, what are nominal Christians? Nominal Christians are the so-called Christians. The Christians that say they are a Christian and turn around and don't live with God. The Christians that don't live a spiritual life. The ones that will say, I'm a Christian, and then turn around and say, I'm not a Christian, when it doesn't benefit them. The ones that drink wine at 16 and their justification is that Jesus turned water into wine. The ones that used to go marry a prostitute when they don't have the rest of the story. We need to, as a congregation, look up, stop with the phone, stop playing games, and focus on the task ahead. We need to shine brighter with the intensity of God itself. There should be no doubt to someone else that you are a Christian. Not all Christians are the Christians that don't have the full story of Christianity. It turns out my heart to know that there are fake Christians in the congregation. There are those people everywhere, especially in the South, where everyone is a Christian. Now, how do you show the gospel to someone who thinks he's already a Christian? First, you have to make sure that you are rock solid, because you can't fix their mistake if you have them just as big. You have to be committed and come with answers. You have to explain to them without being rude. Hate the sin, not the sin. That's important, so let me repeat it. Hate the sin, not the sin. I've shown the gospel to a novel Christian before, and it's awkward, but the payout is definitely worth it. You have to go back and check with them. Nominal Christians think that they are already a Christian, so it's really hard to get them to see what is wrong. The best things in life are worth working for, so work hard to help those that are nominal Christians. We look at one one now. In a two minutes, a few days, a few months, maybe even a few years. We need to worry about the life after this. The life that is with Jesus Christ. What about the treasures that will last forever? The treasures we stack up in heaven. What would you want money on earth for maybe 80 years, but none for upon millions upon millions upon millions of years? Let's review. What is a nominal Christian? A nominal Christian is a Christian that doesn't have the full story. Now, how do you share the gospel with a nominal Christian? You have to sit them down and have a heart to heart. Remember, we are called not to be a nominal Christian, but an active Christian. We need to go to church on Sunday and still obey him on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We all fall short of the glory of God. Whether you are a nominal Christian or the best Christian in the world, we all fall short of his glory. But remember, he still loves you through night and day, rain or shine.